TikTok user Kako underscore Garcia7 is a man who runs his own auto repair shop with another employee. From time to time, he publishes recordings of everyday life. There is nothing paranormal among his videos. But one day, one of his regular customers came over to fix a few things. Soon after, he died in a track accident. His car stayed in the workshop. Since then, strange things started to happen. Tools or objects moved by themselves. But one incident in particular was really interesting. <laughs> ¿Aló? Oye, disculpa, pero ¿con quién, ¿con quién está hablando? Oye, oye, cálmate, 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 cálmate. ¿Qué, don Carlos? Pero, oye, escúchame, escúchame un poquito. ¿Tú me estás hablando, tú me estás hablando del accidente de anoche? Claro. Juan, me estáis hueyando, ¿cierto? No, pues estoy con don Carlos aquí, pues. Me estoy explicando Oye, podéis su subir. ¿Sabes qué? Oye, no, es que no estáis hablando con nadie, viejo. No estás hablando con nadie, Juan, y ayer los que chocaron murieron todos. Juan, no estás con nadie. Sube y ven a ver las cámaras. Tengo todo grabado. Sube, viejo. Sube, vente al tiro, vente al tiro. Vente al tiro. Si estáis sin no estás con nadie, Juan. Viejo, no, te estoy, te estoy, tengo grabado. Vente, por favor. Vente. While checking the camera on his phone, Kako sees a rather strange situation. His employee seems to be talking to someone, but the strangest thing is that there is no one there but him. Kako decides to call and ask the employee what's going on, and this is where it gets creepy. The man claims that he is talking to the person who left the car in the workshop. But what's most terrifying is that the man he's talking to is dead. What do you folks think about that? Paranormal or not? Decide. Number two. The next video is from the YouTube channel Ghost Hunt Weekends, who went with a group of ghost hunters to the Titanic Museum in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. The whole team started their investigation with a mock-up of the upper deck, where they managed to record this. Really? I'll do it again. I'll do it slower this time. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, three. Oh, look at that. All the way up to red. What about wow. this one, though? What about this one? This is going around. This is going to be all night. Let's try it again for that. Count the three. I'll even go backwards. When I get to one, can you make that one go up? Three, two, one. Whoa. Hey, yeah, this one here. Hey, what's that screaming? Is that screaming? Yeah, did you hear that? Screaming. Dude, we just heard screaming. Yeah, this one here. Hey, what's that screaming? Is that screaming? Yeah, this one here. 
Hey, what's that screaming? That's screaming. Yeah, that's one here. Hey, what's that screaming? That's screaming. Yeah, did you hear that? It was like, like a. Well, you gotta think there was a lot of that going on. Are you? Can you do that again? Hey, wait, listen, guys, hold on. At one point, while trying to contact the souls of the dead on the Titanic, several people heard a woman scream. Oh. Yeah, that's so hey, what's that screaming? That's screaming. Yeah, did you hear that? Then the whole crew went to another place where they accidentally recorded something scary as well. Can you show yourself to us? Can you show yourself to us? Let's try another like, spectrum of light and see if we see anything differently. Can you show yourself? We saw a woman in a dress. Are you trying to escape? The, the ship is sinking and filling with water. We can get the keys and open this gate. Just knock on the gate or knock on a wall. Let us know you're in there and we'll grab the keys. There's like banging here and then that went off the same Did you see something? No, I heard it. Yeah. it. I don't know where that came from. I couldn't tell if it was here. Yeah. Let us know you're in there. Can you bang harder? We'll get the keys. We can't hear you if you're in there. We're going to leave. This time, while staying at the allegedly haunted door, the camera captures a mysterious apparition passing right behind the back of one of the investigators. Was it a real ghost caught on camera or something else entirely? The final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation, visit his YouTube channel, Ghost Hunt Weekends. Number three. Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations went to Petworth Chapel. The building was built in 1865 by Lord Lickenfield and was also used as a local mortuary. In 1942, during World War II, a German plane dropped a bomb on the school next to the chapel during the bombing. 28 children were killed in the impact. Since then, visitors have occasionally heard the voices of children in the chapel, and there have been many witnesses who have seen apparitions in the grounds. Knowing the whole story, that Jeff, Phil, and Mark went there for a nightly investigation. Do you remember what it was like when it was in use? Would I be right in assuming that this chapel was used by the boys' school, which was literally a couple of hundred yards away from me? Now I need you to shout, really, because it's quite difficult for us to hear you. So. Again, could I ask you to let me know you're here? Shout as loud as you can. Go on. I thought I was hearing something at the door. If you're by the door, can you come in and join us, please? I hear movement at the doorway as if someone has entered, and also on reviewing the digital audio, there is a voice. To let me know you're here, shout as loud as you can. Go on. During a fairly quiet investigation, the team records voice and movement near them. 
Then they continued until they managed to record something goddamn chilling. I bet you're really annoyed that this place has been left to deteriorate like this, and it's really sad when you come to these places and see it like this. I mean, I think somebody should take ownership for it and try and rebuild it a little bit in memory of all the people that are in the graveyard. Would you like that to happen one day? Who's outside? Who's the man that we heard earlier on talking in a deep voice? Are you still checking us out? If so, what's your name? And was it you that pulled Phil's jacket? Come on, if you've got the energy so we can hear your voice, you'd be able to move something or make a knocking or banging sound. Whoa. 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 Okay, Phil, if you point your camera down to the floor, let's take a picture of that. That was strange, that one was all blurred. Point your camera to the floor, Phil, a bit further. Don't move, Phil. Something's not right. During an EVP session, the group heard a loud bang. Then Jeff decides to take some pictures of Phil. In the first one, we can't see anything, but in the next two, we see something terrifying. First, a dark apparition coming out of the ground, and then a silhouette standing next to Phil. Did the team manage to record a real shadow figure, or is it easy to explain? Choose wisely, folks. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation and many more, visit their YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Number 4 The next recording is from the channel Steph's Basement 89, whose recordings are from 11 years ago. The reason she opened her channel was because of mysterious phenomena in her house, and especially in her basement, which she said was haunted. Basement 89? Um... Basically, I think my house is haunted, which I know sounds silly and I still feel kind of silly saying it, but I guess I shouldn't. Um, we figured out that about the start of the new year of this year was when things started to happen. Um, it's mostly in the basement, but... Right? Did you yeah. or are you f***ing with me? Someone's standing in the doorway. I saw it. Ouch. Someone's standing in the doorway. Don't, can you... Don't go far. <laughs> So, as I'm recording to you, pardon my language, I feel like I just saw someone standing in the doorway, and so did he. During her first recording, where she presents situations, inexplicable phenomena start to happen. 
they see full body apparition and hear sounds that were just the beginning. So normally when I come home from work, my dog Bella will come running to the door to greet me or whatever and I just came home and she didn't do that and it ends up she's down here in the basement just obsessing over this closet door. Um, she's never done this before. It looks as if she's waiting for it to open or she thinks there's someone behind it um, or it's like she acts like she's acting how she does when she wants to get into one of the rooms upstairs. Um, but she hasn't acknowledged me at all since I came home which is very weird. Bella. She's not even answering to her name. I'm just gonna open it. If I go pull it. See, baby, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing in there, crazy lady. Well, it's dark, but as you could probably see, there's no one in the closet, thank God. See, baby, there's nothing there, lady. Nothing, okay? back to sniffing it again it's fucking freaking me out come on this time we can see a door that opens by itself and a strange behavior of the dog right next to it but what she recorded at the end is quite creepy Are you yeah it's for stan i said i won't break them <laughs> michelle's getting like really good at the drums so you might have some competition when you get back <laughs> We love you, we'll see you soon. During the filming of a friend in the wardrobe, we can notice a mysterious figure of a woman in a white dress, which disappears without a trace after literally a second. After this recording for 11 years, she did not publish a single video on YouTube. What could have happened? Did she really live in a haunted house where she managed to record the apparition on camera, or was it just an internet hoax? As always, folks, you are the judges. You decide. Also, if you want to watch all her videos, visit her YouTube channel, Steph's Basement 89. Number 5. TikTok user Wade Lanigan recently experienced a rather bizarre event at his home. So I think probably the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me just happened. Um, when I woke up this morning, my phone said that my storage was full, so I went to my photos to delete some. And the very first one was a photo taken last night of me asleep in my bed. It was an overview photo. Um, and the, the creepy part is, is I'm home alone with my 10 month old daughter. My wife's been out of town in Colorado for a week. I live in Washington. There's no way that my 10 month old could have taken the photo because she sleeps in a crib in, a, in one room over. And there's no way she could have crawled out of her crib, came into my room, got my phone, and then found a way to stand like five feet above my bed and take the picture. It's not possible. And even if she did, it would have, I would have, there would be a notification on the, on the app for her camera. So I, I'm super freaked out right now. I feel like there's someone in my house. I feel like there's someone watching me I, and I don't know what to do. At the end of this video, I'll add the photo um, for context to anyone that's seeing this and hasn't seen the first video. Uh, it, I'm home alone, just me and my daughter and someone took a picture of me in my bed um, at two o'clock in the morning, which is super terrifying. Right now, I'm staying at a buddy's house um, in his guest room. Just, we're too spooked to stay at my house. It's just too creepy. Uh, I, even though I did search the whole house, there's definitely no one there. And I made a police report. They didn't really seem super interested. But anyways, uh, here's the photo. I made sure to screenshot it so you can see what time it was taken. It's at 2.34 in the morning. Um, as you can see, there's yeah. no way that my daughter could have taken it. Um, and there was no one else in my house. Um, yeah, the, the way that the photo looks is just super creepy, and it looks like someone was standing on my bed, which is also super creepy. When he's home alone with his 10-month-old daughter, someone took a picture of his phone in the night. Everything is easily explained, but a few days later, this happened. 
I just woke up to something scratching at my door. I originally thought it was my dog. My dog is right here. Um. Jinzy, no, 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 no. You okay? Come on, honey. <sighs> Can't leave the dog. Shit, shit, shit. I'm coming, Daisy. <laughs> The damn dog. She'll come back for me. <laughs> Daisy, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Daisy, get in the car. Get in the car. What is that? Oh my god, that's a person. What the The man suddenly wakes up to the sound of scratching at his door, which slams shut. Then the phenomena got stronger, and he decides to leave the house. Where, while leaving, we see a hand on the window, and a few seconds later, a figure in the house. Was all we saw real paranormal activity, or just TikTok hoax? You decide, folks. Number six. YouTubers from the Topi channel went to an abandoned morgue, which is the target of many ghost hunters due to high paranormal activity. During his stay, they recorded this. While they were in the building, they separated and each remained alone. Anastasia, who was in one of the rooms, experienced strange phenomena. The coffin right behind her moved significantly, which scared her quite a bit. After what she saw, she goes from the room where the camera recorded this.
Короче, что-то, ребят, произошло. И я пойду подниматься The camera left in the creepy room with the coffin is recording something scary. Suddenly, a bizarre dark figure materializes, which, after a few seconds, slowly flies upwards, where it finally disappears and dissolves in the air. So, folks, a real ghost recorded on camera, or maybe just a well-prepared hoax, decide. Number 7 Ghost hunters from the YouTube channel Casa Supernatural recorded something interesting during their trip to an abandoned, supposedly haunted factory. É. Ninguém fez oração para ele. Quer perguntar isso? Qual é o seu nome? Senhor, tu vendo alguma coisa ali. Hã? Onde? Ali, nessa... Cara, olha aqui, olha, velho! Meu Deus do céu, cara! Cara, o que é aquilo, cara? O cara! O cara! O cara! O cara! Sumiu, velho! Cara, tinha um homem lá, cara. Tinha um homem parado, cara. E agora como eu vou buscar, cara? Cara, tinha um, tinha um homem lá, velho. Tinha um homem parado ali naquela escada, cara. Não tem mais nada. Todo mundo viu, cara. Todo mundo viu. Você vai chegar? Ah, você foi o primeiro que viu, cara. Cara, meu Deus do céu, meu coração, cara, tá acelerado, velho. Tá bem? Hum? Tá bem, Wilson? Suddenly, during a spirit box session, a woman notices someone on the stairs. When everyone is looking at them, they notice the fake silhouette of a man standing there. Everyone starts to run, and when they turn around, the figure disappears without a trace. Was it a ghost or was it some homeless person? Real or fake? Make a decision, folks. Number 8 TikTok user abogado.thermal.hunting mostly records animals and hunting. But among his dozens of recordings, one seems to stand out from the rest. While searching the area at night in a supposedly haunted forest, he records something chilling.
as he scans the area with the camera, he notices someone. We see the woman walking through the forest, completely alone, at night, without any light source, which is quite suspicious and strange. Is it a real apparition caught on camera in a haunted forest? Or maybe the explanation is much simpler. Let me know in the comments below. Number 9 Michael from the popular channel D-Doc Michael went to another abandoned place. During his exploration, he captured this. Suddenly, the door in front of him slams shut. Michael steps inside, and after a few seconds, he hears something. He opens the door and there captures a mysterious silhouette. Was it a ghost or a homeless man or just a hoax? Decide, folks. Number 10. The last footage is from the channel Gun Billy's Paranormal, which he recorded this on his camera at home.
while the man is lying on the bed. His camera records something mysterious in the bathroom. Several times, we can see the dark head leaning in and out. Is it a real ghost caught on camera or just a hoax? Let me know, folks.